Time has run out for state lawmakers to extend legal protections for county lifeguards. Now lifeguards are left in limbo. We've been following this story for weeks. Alexander Zanes joins us with how this could impact you. Alexander? Joe, as the law is now, lifeguards are protected from being sued for most actions they perform on the job. But that law expires on June 30th, and it looks like they will now have to work with the possibility of lawsuits being a new reality. I was there tonight as Oahu lifeguards learned the legal protections they've been receiving for more than a decade will soon come to an end. This afternoon, they were waving signs on Alawana Boulevard, hoping people would call their representatives before tonight's deadline. However, the deadline passed with no extension to the law. Not the outcome they wanted, and not the outcome the four mayors from each county wanted. Without the protections, the mayors say counties, and in the end, taxpayers would be left footing huge bills to protect lifeguards in court. Because when it comes down to it, it doesn't matter if we have it or not. If there's a giant, there's giant surf out there, we're still going to go. If there's shark infested waters, the shark that we're still going to go. But the repercussions later is what we're worried about. As it stands now, the measure that passed tonight calls on the state attorney general to defend county lifeguards on state beaches only. But lifeguards who protect county beaches like Ala Moana and Sandy's could face potential lawsuits for saving someone's life. And the union representing the lifeguards is also currently going through arbitration to secure a new contract. I asked if today's result could possibly affect how that will be handled going forward, and I was told it possibly could, but it's too early to tell how. Alexander Zanes, KHON 2 News.